and everyone in a mountain yeah, just as uh, you mentioned that uh, currently I'm a, a research manager in JDAI uh, so uh, yeah JDAI is a research uh, group of uh, JD.com uh, so which is uh, the largest retailer in China yeah so basically we are an e-commerce a company uh, actually I'm uh, Actually, my research is about dialogue. I mean, I, I, actually, most of my time I, I work on natural language processing, but uh, recently we also uh, are very interested in the yeah in the computer vision. So this is one of our uh, recent work. And okay, I, I, I will also re, uh, mention another two interesting work at the end of my talk. So today I will introduce our paper and the uh, name is Sketchbird, learning to generate bird sketches from text. And uh, uh, yeah, because of the time zone and uh, this uh, authors are actually our interns. Yeah, they uh, come from, you can see, they come from uh, different uh, universities. Yeah. So uh, first I will introduce this task. Uh, actually it's a new, uh, a novel task because most of the time we uh, talk about text to image, but uh, we rarely talk about text to sketch, right? So the task is to generate uh, sketch images from natural language descriptions. So just as the uh, uh, figure in the right side shows, uh, the input text can be some descriptions of uh, of the birds, and then we need to generate the sketches for the uh, uh, based on the descriptions. So why do we, uh, I mean, why do we want to do this? Uh, actually, our motivations are as follows. Uh, first, we think sketch plays a very important role in the art composition. Yeah, acting as a in this uh, principal intermediate state. Uh, however, currently, uh, most of the works mainly focused on two separate tasks, the image generation from text and sketch generation from image. So uh, we are thinking, why not uh, generate a sketch from text directly? And, uh, and we also think our work can help the artist speed up uh, the representational process and catch the fleeting inspirations efficiently. So I think our work is, uh, I, I mean, has some important meanings for the art composition. Uh, but there are uh, some several uh, difficulties and challenges there because uh, the first one is text to sketch is, uh, is very difficult because sketches uh, consist of only a set of sparse lines and depend on very strict uh, age information. So if, we, uh, if the model made any unreasonable uh, mistakes, yeah, it will bring a very strange visual perception for the human eyes. And uh, it also requires the model to understand the text descriptions accurately and control the shape and the texture in the fine grained grand, uh, granularity. And uh, also, uh, we also mentioned the same problem as Professor Hu uh, mentioned. Yeah, we, uh, that means the, the, the lack of data set. So currently there is no off the shelf module data set with high quality text and sketch pairs as far as we know. And the last challenge is existing models are less satisfying on this task because most of traditional text to image approaches are based on multi-stage uh, modular architecture and they lack uh, efficient fusion mechanism between the image features and the synthesis vector. So they cannot control the amount of change in shape and texture based on the input natural language accurately. Uh, so for this work, our contributions are uh, as follows. First, we construct a, a new data set. Uh, we denote it as a sketch CUB by modifying the prevalent CUB data set uh, with more than uh, 10,000 text sketch pairs. And then we also pro, uh, propose a novel text to sketch generation model, uh, which is based on uh, the popular generative adversary network. And uh, we also propose a novel a block called CLIN, uh, which have, has following advantages. The first is it can fuse the image features and the sentence vector seamlessly and encourage the text 
text descriptions to get the whole image generation process. And the second advantage is the model uh, does not need to depend on the size of the batch images and the training process uh, becomes more stable. And finally, our model is capable of uh, flexibly controlling the amount of change in the generated sketches ship and textual features with learned parameters from the data set. Uh, so how do we construct the uh, data set? Uh, the, the process is as follows. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the data set is originated from the CUB data set, which is very popular uh, text to image data set. Uh, but the original set, uh, they said, uh, uh, I mean, the descriptions have, have lots of uh, words related to the color. And, uh, and uh, so, so it's not uh, friendly. I mean, it's not fr friendly for our task because we know that sketch, uh, yeah, sketch doesn't not have any color. It's all have black, white, right? So we need to modify the, uh, first, we need to modify the natural descriptions for each image by removing uh, the color descri description words and rewriting uh, some text based on the content of the image manually. So just as uh, uh, Phoebe in the right side shows uh, for the example C, uh, actually we uh, manually uh, rewrite some of the, the text. Uh, we invited uh, uh, 15 uh, annotators to finish the job. And uh, then we apply an open source uh, holistically nested network to transfer the realistic images into the sketches. Uh, and, uh, and finally, we will remove those sketches images that are not easily identified or of low quality. And this, uh, this is the uh, uh, statistics of our sketch CUB dataset. Uh, so uh, this is a detail detail of our model. So the uh, architecture of a model, uh, uh, yeah, is showing in the in this figure. I will introduce each component in details first. Uh, the text encoder uh, aims at learning the feature representations from the uh, from the natural language descriptions. Uh, here we use the bidirectional STM network. Uh, and which is fine tuned by attention down with our dataset as uh, text encoder. So to avoid uh, discon uh, discontinu uh, discontinuity in the latent data manifold with limited data, we augment the uh, sentence vector. Yeah, uh, with a random vector eta. Uh, then the augmented sen sentence vector S is further connected with a random vector Z. Uh, as initialized input sketch feature to the network. And then the generator has two inputs. Uh, one is the uh, sentence vector from the text encoder and uh, an initialized sketch vector. Yeah, so just that the line shows here. Uh, yeah, then the initialized sketch vector is firstly fed into a, a fully connected uh, layer and the output is reshaped to a sketch features. It also includes a designed up, up sample block, which consists of a fully connected layer reshape operation and a two convolution layers to generate a sketch feature map. The file ceiling uh, fusion blocks are implemented to fuse the text and the image features uh, seamlessly. So following the adversary training strategy in GANS, we employ a, a discriminator. Uh, DI that distinguish whether the sketch is real or fake uh, to get the generation corresponding to its relevant grand truth. It is com uh, composed of several down sampling blocks and a convolution, a convolution layers. Uh, so as I mentioned, the, uh, uh, the core block of the network is the ceiling block. So why uh, we use a conditional layer instance normalization mm, because uh, actually most of, uh, I mean, for the fusion of features uh, from different modalities, uh, most of people will use, uh, for example, use the, um, 
the batch normalization. Uh, for example, in SD GAN, uh, they use batch normalization to reinforce the visual semantic embedding for the uh, visual generation and proves its super, uh, superiority in generation task. But, but here uh, we think uh, the batch normalization cons consists of the, uh, consist considers the content of all images in a batch when calculating the normalized features and uh, neglecting the unique details of each sketch sample. And also ceiling uh, our proposed ceiling block uh, combine, combines the advantage of uh, instance normalization and layer normalization to selectively change or keep the content information, such so as the equation three shows. And ceiling can help the attention guided model uh, to flexibly control the shape and texture based uh, texture based on the input natural language text. So that's the reason. And uh, uh, here are our last functions. Uh, basically, first we have designed the uh, adversary laws, uh, which are applied in the discriminator and generator. Uh, so uh, yeah, so the adversary loss uh, is uh, is the matching aware gradient penalty loss. Yeah, and then we design two extra loss. Uh, one is a perceptual loss, uh, which uh, which can keep the generated sketch semantically consistent with a real sketch in content based on a resonant network pre-trained on the image dataset. And we also design a DMSM loss, which can uh, provide an additional water level sketch te text matching loss for training the generator. Uh, so here are our experiments. Uh, we have following baselines. Uh, first is attention gun, uh, which consists of uh, attention generative network, which generates high quality images through a multi-stage process. And second is DMGAN, uh, which introduces, uh, introduces a dynamic memory module to refine fast image contents. We also replace the ceiling block with a conditional batch normalization block. So we also have a, a model variant uh, as a baseline. And for evaluation, we have uh, both uh, automatic evaluation and human evaluation. So for automatic evaluation, we take the FID and SSMIM uh, as a matrix. And for human evaluation, uh, we take the uh, visual quality and semantic consistency uh, as the evaluation matrix. So table two and table three shows the experiment results. And we can see that, uh, yeah, both our model outperforms the baselines uh, I mean, on the automatic metric and uh, human evaluation. And uh, we, also, mm, did, uh, we also did the ablation study and uh, we uh, removed uh, each, uh, I mean, the extra loss separately. And we can see that the performance uh, degrades. So it indicates the contribution of our proposed loss. And uh, we also replace the ceiling block with CBN block, and we can also see that the performance that becomes worse. Yeah. So here are some uh, qualitative analysis. Yeah, first we show some good examples. Yeah, when we compare with our baseline models, uh, yeah, here are some generated images. So we can see that uh, first the sketch images generated by attention gun and uh, DM gun uh, look like simple shapes and some combination of fuzzy lines. Uh, so benefit from the ceiling fusion block, uh, our model can generate better object shapes and vivid uh, feature details outbursts. And we also found that uh, our model can generate sketch images with better semantic consistency between the text and the sketch. For example, in the uh, in the first, second, of, of fifth, and seventh columns of, of this figure, uh, the baseline, baseline models cannot present detailed information uh, like the uh, spiked crown, uh, blunt bill, a pattern at the end of its wings, and a blunt be uh, beak. But our model can catch these patterns and keep consistent with uh, uh, text uh, descriptions. And if, uh, meanwhile, I will 
I also want to show some uh, bad cases of our model. So figuring the right demonstrates some limitations of our model. As showing, for example, in, uh, in the uh, fig 5a, the bird stands on a tree uh, as described in the, in the given context. However, in, uh, in the generator sketch, the bird is surrounded with uh, blurring points. Right, so this is caused by the under interpretation of the given text context. Well, there are multiple objects that need to be generated. And in B and C, the context description includes detailed information of the birds such as spiky plumage or speckled appearance. However, the model tends to uh, concentrate uh, on the features of long tail or long neck instead of generating the whole bird picture. Yeah, so we will uh, introduce uh, or we will improve the above limitations uh, in the future. So finally, we can uh, yeah summarize the following conclusions. First, we propose a novel multi-model text-to-image task, which is to generate sketch images from natural language descriptions. Uh, second, we construct an image dataset by modifying the classical CUB dataset, and then we devise a novel GAN-based model which is equipped with several conditional layer instance normalization based on uh, fusion blocks. And finally, the experimental results demonstrate the proposed model can catch the fine grain patterns from uh, descriptions precisely and uh, generate visually pleasing uh, sketch images. Yeah, so uh, yeah, this is the last slide. So uh, I will, uh, because just, uh, uh, yeah, you mentioned that, I, 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 did some work related to Air for Arts, yeah. Uh, so actually, uh, this work is also the is I, I guess it also belongs to the art uh, scope, yeah. So I will introduce some uh, uh some of our uh, recent interesting work. One is about the color uh, calligraphy generation, which will appear in the next week because uh, next week we will have the multimedia conference in uh in Chengdu, China, right? And uh, another work is. Uh, it's about uh, generate uh, poetic Chinese landscape scape painting with calligraph. Yeah, we, so we also have a very uh, nice demo. Yeah, and uh, uh, this is a picture of our team team members. And uh, yeah, maybe some of you uh, know Professor uh, Dr. Xiao Donghe, uh, who is a, a very famous uh, scientist, uh, especially uh, both in the computer vision and the natural language processing field. And we also collaborate, uh, collaborate with uh, uh, art, uh, a professor, Chiu Zijie, uh, who is a very famous artist uh, in China. <laughs> so that's why we, yeah, we do so many work re related to art. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's my presentation. Thank Thanks a lot. We are a bit out of time, uh, so we're already in the break, uh, but I suggest we just take the questions till the next uh, talk time and skip the break. Um, so um, let's start from the question from a chat from Yongan. Um, did you deal with the background when constructing the data set? And uh, uh, is, well, was the background taken into account in the text description and does uh, it affect negatively the training of the model? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think this is a very, yeah, very nice question. Uh, yeah, I, I, unfortunately, we, yeah, we did not uh, deal with the background uh, so officially, yeah. I mean, uh, we just uh, uh, confirmed the image into the sketches, so uh, so if the background are uh, uh, backgrounds are very noisy, yeah, it means, uh, yeah, after we transform the image into sketches, uh, yeah, they will also uh, contain some noises uh, too. But but I think uh, for the CUB dataset, um, because most of the uh, background uh, are basically the trees or uh, maybe the leaves or maybe the uh, yeah, it's ground. Uh, so, yeah. So I think it's not so uh, severe in. I mean, in, in this task, yeah. But but I still think it uh, is a good question. Yeah. Um, I have a few questions. I think some of them I will leave to the panel discussion. And uh, one are 
So you proposed this network uh, having in mind generation of sketches, but did you try uh, to use the same network for generation of images from text? And did you see if there is improvement uh, for image generation if you do the same if you use the same architecture? Uh, so sorry, you mean we want to generate the image with this uh... architecture? Yes, with, with your okay. network so architecture. You... So you mean uh, try this approach in the image to image task, right? Uh, text to image. Text to image. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but our work is... Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, instead of sketches generating like the photorealistic images, like real, or, like photo, photos instead of sketches, uh, do you think it will get improvement of the previous oh, work or it's uh, okay. something specific for sketches? Uh, yeah, I think... It came, uh, yeah, I guess it can bring some gains because uh, basically ceiling block uh, is designed for catching the, uh, I mean, catching the uh, similarity between the text and the image, right? So it's designed to fuse the text uh, representation and image representation seamlessly. So I would think uh, it will still work for the ordinary text to image task, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah we, we have a, I think we, we need to try that and maybe, yeah, maybe publish another paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, I'm also thinking, I'm wondering if also part of the network can be also taken for image to sketch share generation and there also can be something. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess there is not much sense to take two minutes break. Um, so I can ask one more question. Um, do you think uh, the generative networks which treat sketches um, as bitmaps will ever be able to achieve uh, um, realistic appearance of sketches because the sketches usually created as a sequence of strokes? So what's your opinion? Do you have an opinion on that? Or is the question clear? Uh... Yeah, I think it's not so clear because uh, <laughs> I didn't try it, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah, but I think uh, it's worth trying. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe I will ask my interns to to do some further further work. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, we have one more question from Adrian. Um, do you have? Do you consider complete complementing the text input with? Uh, Postmate join of the target bird. Uh, do you see any fundamental challenge in doing so? Uh, Adrian, you can just uh, say the question, oh. but I think the question is like, I think if you would have more abstract uh, drawings, how would that would have affect? So, uh, well, uh, it's, it's more that right mm -hmm. now you only take a text description of your image, but the user might. Mm. also have a, a, a way to, to draw the birds, just not with fine details. And then combining the drawing and the text, you might synthesize a more realistic bird. So complementing, complementing the two inputs. Um, okay. So approximate so, drawing so, with text. Yeah. So I understand uh, that you suggest to um, put both the text and the draft image as input, right? Yeah. Actually, exactly. we, yeah, yes. Uh, actually, we did an uh, experiment uh, in the, I mean, in the original paper, uh, when we uh, submitted this, uh, this paper, uh, we, uh, we just put the text and the uh, sketch we generated as input and I tried to uh, generate the uh, colorized, I mean, I mean, the image with color uh, as output. So we want to show that our model can, uh, I mean, can handle the, uh, both the text and uh, the image as input. Uh, but, but finally, we removed that, that, uh, that section because, because we think, uh, yeah, it's uh, far from our motivation. And uh, uh, so we did not, uh, I mean, include it in this paper. Yeah, but, but the effect is not so bad. Yeah, I, yeah. Maybe I should, yeah, I should put it in the hidden slide if you, if I know you want to show the results. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you.